y'all. Welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Today's video has been highly requested by quite a few viewers ever since I mentioned my weight loss a couple of weeks ago. And so I decided that I would make a video about how I've lost 20 pounds since January 1st. I officially hit that 20 pound mark and that was my goal for the year. So I'm going to talk about that and show what I eat essentially in a day and how I have lost my weight. I just met with my doctor for a six month checkup and blood work and I was able to have a discussion with him about my weight loss because I haven't been this thin in four and a half years. So. I am 5'8", and ooh, that's a big bug trying to drink my water. So I'm 5'8", and I'm 35 years old, and I have never been, like, overweight. I've never struggled with weight. It's never been a thing for me. I've always been in fairly decent shape. Um, but last fall, I was definitely at my heaviest. I was on the high end of where I should be on like the BMI scale for a woman who's 5'8". Um, so I was on the high end of that and now I'm on the lowest end of that, like the very low like bottom number of that scale because of my 20 pound weight loss. And honestly, I just hit a point where I wasn't liking what I saw in the mirror and I wasn't liking what I saw in photos and I was like, I'm better than this. I need to get my physical health uh, under control a little bit more. Now, I will say that I personally think it's easier to lose weight uh, when you're living in a van. <laughs> and that's because, especially if you're out like in the forest, you are camping, and you are away from civilization, it's a lot harder to drive five minutes, 10 minutes, even 15 minutes to like get some fast food or go to Chipotle or whatever. It's a lot more difficult. It takes a lot more work to eat out <laughs> when you are living in a van. So I decided on January 1st this year that I was going to get serious. And the first way that I started on my weight loss journey was via intermittent fasting. So I started with a 12 to 5 window. So from noon to 5 p.m. I can eat. Because ultimately, and I'm not a doctor, I'm not a dietitian, I'm not a nutritionist. This is just stuff I've kind of learned and picked up uh, from other people and research. But ultimately, you want to not be eating for at least 16 hours so your body can properly digest everything. So, um, like, if you're eating from 8 to 5, that's not an intermittent fast. You need a smaller window. And Honestly, my window is probably more like 12.30 to 4 now because what I learned for myself was by eating one high-protein meal a day, like high-protein to keep me full, if I was making a substantial enough meal, I wouldn't be hungry, therefore I wouldn't be like snacking and like looking for things to fulfill my appetite. So the first way that I started was the intermittent fasting, and I told myself that I'm not going to make these drastic changes and go on a diet and, like, I can't have anything. Like, I just started by telling myself one thing at a time. Okay, so let's start with the intermittent fasting window with a high-protein meal and see how I feel. That's really what jump-started my journey. So by the time I left Nevada in March, I was so proud of myself because I remember it was like 1230 and I was leaving the Mountain Springs area. I wanted to get back into Arizona and I had about an hour drive. And on that drive, I drove past every single fast food option that you could possibly imagine. And I was really hungry, but I just kept telling myself, nope. That food is gross. <laughs> it's full of nasty things. Get to camp. Cook yourself something. You will feel a hell of a lot better. And I did. I got to camp and I made myself a bacon, um, cooked myself up some bacon with a hamburger patty and cheese. And I was so proud of myself because what happened was I was being mindful 
of what I was doing. I was being mindful of the fact that I wasn't going to stop and indulge in this fast food that's really bad for you. Um, and it was at that moment that I realized that I have been making conscious decisions about what I put into my body. And that's all it comes down to. And I even had that discussion with my doctor. It's like, am I being mindful about what I am consuming? Am I making conscious decisions about what I am putting into my body? But also everything in moderation. Like I will go to a baseball game and get some mozzarella sticks and not beat myself up because I'm not doing it every day. I'm not doing it even every week. Everything in moderation. That should be kind of a life motto. So right now what I typically eat for lunch or midday, my one big meal, is something protein. So that will be, like I said, a hamburger patty. Um, the 93-7%. You don't want to get like the super fatty you know, again, make just making those choices. You might have to spend an extra dollar to get the healthier meat. Worth it. So I'll do that with like some bacon and some cheese. And that meal will fill me up. And then there are snacks or sides that I have as well. And I will discuss those further. One of my favorite go-to snacks is Caprizi. So I just slice tomato. And I take the fresh uh, sliced mozzarella you can get. I got this at Safeway. Uh, you want to make sure it's a very specific kind, this this kind. Um, they sell some, like, nasty versions, but something that looks like this. So I'll just slice it, put a slice of mozzarella. Mozzarella and Parmesan cheese are um, probably the best for you. <clears throat> mozzarella is always a great option, especially, like, if you're making eggs, for example, for your meal, putting, like, a quarter cup of mozzarella cheese on it uh, just adds that that protein so slice this bit of this a little bit of salt and pepper and balsamic vinaigrette and that's it so you can eat it by the slice or you can chop it all up and make a little salad but nix the bread right so we want to do things that lower our carbohydrate intake you don't have to like completely take it out of your diet but doing something like this just without the bread is a great option. Oh, you're checking it out because I'm getting out food? Yeah. So ready-made meals are also a great option. So of course, as you can see, this is salmon and asparagus. Very healthy, very good for you. Salmon is an excellent protein. Um, so this was about $5 at Safeway. I was doing the home chef meals, but a lot of them are full of carbs. So I'll do this every now and then, just put it in my hot logic. It, you know, will take about an hour, hour and a half to cook or so. So that is um, a great option if you don't want to cook. And yeah, so you can get chicken and beef. Um, but yes, yeah, so I try and do a protein and a veggie if I can. These are the hamburger patties I got yesterday. It's actually 96% uh, lean and 4% fat. Very tasty. The Signature Farms, this is actually... Uh, from Safeway as well. So just get a four pack and uh, that's all you need. I've shown it in a couple of my videos, but Gary taught me how to make a like a veggie Greek salad a couple of months ago. Um, and I am absolutely in love with it. Now you can put whatever you want in this, but I like to do <clears throat> cucumber, bell pepper, olives, feta cheese, and cherry tomatoes. Just chop it up and mix it together. A little bit of salt and pepper, no dressing or anything like that, not doing anything, you know, to add calories, just getting those, those veggies and those superfoods uh, with the feta cheese is very tasty. Again, you can take stuff out, put stuff in, whatever, but that is a go-to for me now. And I really used to hate cooking, but I will literally chop those veggies, make myself a full serving of that. I can have it with a meal or as a snack. It gives you that crunch, it's just, it's very fulfilling. So that is one of my favorite go-to snacks. Um, and like I said, sides, highly recommend. So trail mix is one of my go-to snacks, but I don't like all this super fancy trail mixes that you can find like in grocery stores that have like 10 ingredients. I am very basic, I'm very simple, so I like to make my own just peanuts, raisins, and m and So I'll just get the, the sea salt peanuts or like a lightly salted, very basic M&Ms, 
with the classic sunmade raisins and I will mix it all together and that's it. Peanuts are an excellent source of protein. So this kind of gets you a like a sweet salty snack if you want it. Just a few handfuls of peanuts are um, like I said a very good source of protein but this way it's tasty. I have it readily available. If I'm not like super hungry but I just need a little something I'll have a couple handfuls of my trail mix and it's this way I know too like, what's in it when I make it myself. I don't have to spend a ton of money on something fancy where I'll only eat like three things out of the the bag of trail mix they have at the grocery store. So this is one of my favorites. Something that I haven't done is deprive myself of things that I want. Like if I want to drink beer, I'm going to drink beer. If I want, like the other night my mom and I went to a steakhouse and I had a steak salad, but they brought a bread basket and I don't really indulge in bread anymore, but I decided to because you could tell like it was high quality bread. It was very tasty. Um, so I had three pieces. I do have to say my stomach wasn't very happy with me afterwards. That's how I know that I've really made a lot of changes. And your body starts to notice that right now. Like I had Taco Bell maybe like six weeks ago and like it made me sick for the first time in my life. Like fast food made me sick. So ultimately for me, what it's come down to is lifestyle changes the intermittent fasting, the high protein, not snacking on crap, not eating fast food, but also not depriving myself if I want to have something tasty or sweet um, every now and then. There's nothing wrong with that. I think that a lot of people trying to lose weight get in the mindset that they have to completely change everything, and that's just not true. When I was having a discussion with my doctor, he was so proud of me, and I was telling him about the changes that I made and he said that I'm doing great, it's awesome. People often think that they have to do something like heroic to lose a ton of weight. And again, I lost 20 pounds, which for somebody 5'8", um, like that's, that's a lot because I wasn't like overweight before necessarily. So 20 pounds is a lot. And I haven't like joined a gym or I'm not like running five miles a day or anything like that. Just simple changes. Like when I go to baseball games, instead of taking the elevator, I take the stairs. When my mom and I went to throw out trash at her neighborhood dumpster the other day, like we took the long way to walk twice. Just, just simple changes, just conscious, simple changes and driving past the fast food and be like, you know what? No, I'm going to cook. And you will feel so much better when you realize that like, you've made the decision to cook instead of getting McDonald's. It's powerful. It's empowering. And then when you see, I didn't weigh myself until about six weeks after I started to lose weight. And then I weighed myself one more time. And where, when I saw where I was at at the doctor, that is motivation for me to keep going. Because I feel really good. And I feel really good about the way I look. So, and when people have complimented me on my weight loss, that's motivation too. It feels nice that um, people have noticed, to be honest with you. So, um, I hope that this video has helped for those who have been curious about the weight loss. Everybody's different. Everybody's body is different. And we all have different things that we need to work on. But that's how I do it. So, thank you so much for watching. If this video was helpful to you, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And I will see you next time.